okay in this class we will discuss regarding wind power uh, or windmill okay so the the wind wind power the generation of the wind power with the help of the kinetic energy of the moving air the kinetic energy of the moving air or the earth surface can be used for generation of the electrical energy can be used for generation of electrical energy okay so apart from that the wind energy is the energy contained in the wind blowing across the earth surface wind energy is the energy contained in the wind blowing across the earth surface winds are caused by uneven heating of the atmosphere winds are caused by uneven heating of the atmosphere by the sun hence it is an indirect form of solar energy it is an indirect form of solar energy and also it is a renewable as well as non conventional energy sources it is a renewable as well as non conventional energy sources the use of wind to generate the electricity okay we can use wind to generate the electricity okay so apart from that so this is a brief introduction regarding that the wind and wind power how we can generate the wind power so so if you want to generate an wind energy for that we need a windmill so this is a windmill the construction and working of the windmill so first we will discuss the construction and working of the windmill so first let us discuss regarding the construction of the windmill the windmill consists of rotor blades blades bearing and generator and supporting towers supporting towers these are some of the important components which are existing in this windmill okay so first let us discuss the windmill the windmill converts the wind energy into a mechanical energy the windmill which is used to convert the wind energy into a mechanical energy used for the grinding applications milling applications and the pumping applications okay the milling applications pumping applications so many okay so apart from that as we discussed earlier it consists of a rotor or a turbine fitted with a two or more large sized blades these are the blades fitted two or more large sized blades the blades are an average length usually the the blades are an average length of 80 meter an average length of 80 meter the hub is connected to the generator through a gear drive okay this is the hub which is connected to the generator through a gear drive so here okay the hub is directly coupled with the generator so the kinetic energy of the moving gear makes the mechanical energy so that mechanical energy is again converted into a electrical energy okay so the preferred wind speed of maximum power generation is about 40 40 km per hour see this is a the animation if you observe this animation okay the kinetic energy of the moving gear over the earth surface can be used to generate the electrical energy so here also so the windmill this is a windmill you can just observe here okay so the kinetic energy should be moving over the blades okay moving over the blades so it makes that the blades in turn converting their energy into mechanical energy due to rotation of the blades due to rotation of the blades okay now the schematic the diagram this diagram of horizontal axis windmill horizontal axis windmill it consists of a tall tower with a large propeller on the top large propeller on the top the wind blow across the blades the wind blow across the blades in turn converting their energy into mechanical energy due to rotation of the blades due to rotation of the blades okay the turbine spins the generator and generates the electricity the turbine spins the generator and the turbine and okay generator are directly coupled each other when turbine starts rotating so automatically the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy so this is the the brief introduction and construction and working of an windmill or the wind power 
next let us discuss regarding some of the important advantages and disadvantages of the wind turbine so generally the advantages if you come to advantages the operation and the maintenance cost are very less okay the operation and the maintenance cost of the wind wind turbine is less comparatively other power generation approaches so next we have one more very important advantage is the fuel cost is nil we need not to pay anything for the air okay the fuel cost is nil and is non polluting and is non polluting apart from that it helps in generating power to houses located offshore and onshore remote areas offshore and onshore remote areas and also it is very much reliable at elevated sites it is very much reliable at elevated sites so this is a some of the important advantages of this particular wind mill or wind power next we have some of the limitations with respect to this it is very noisy during the operation this is a some of the drawback and needs storage of batteries because okay so if you want to generate the electricity so the preferred wind speed for maximum of uh, okay 40 km per hour but uh, it is throughout the day will not get same okay uh, wind so sometimes we'll get 10 km per hour sometimes we'll get 60 km per hour so it is okay the fluctuations will be there is a fluctuations there is a variations in the wind speed so because of that will not supposed to make this as an online plant so it is an offline so for that we need to store the electricity in the form of batteries so for that need the storage of batteries then large hilly areas are required for the large power generation large see these things are not supposed to okay plan in all the locations that is a one of the drawback okay and the fluctuations in amount of power generated due to time of the delay due to time of the delay and also the location as i said so the, there is a fluctuations in the amount of generation it is completely depends upon the amount of air either it may be a 40 or it may be a 60 or it may be a 10 so based on that the then fluctuations in the amount of power generation so this is about some of the advantages and disadvantages of the wind power so apart this is a construction and working so the kinetic energy of the moving air over the earth surface can be used for the generation of the electrical energy so this is the working of wind power or wind mill okay so next we'll discuss one more very important topic which is uh, the hydro power or hydel power plant or we'll also call it as hydro power plant so here the hydro power plants so it is an indirect source of a solar energy it is an indirect source of solar energy because the water from the earth surface because the water from the earth surface gets evaporated gets evaporated by solar energy and it's and is transported by the wind and it is transported by the wind so this results in rainfall this results in rainfall this is called the hydrological cycle this is called the hydrological cycle next coming to the construction and working of an hydro electricity power plant now you can observe here this is a hydro electricity power plant the schematic diagram represents an hydro electricity power plants it consists of a water reservoir there is a dam okay and there is a penstock supporting columns and there is a control valve there is a draft tube and power house and tail race these are some of the important the parts uh, the components so which are existing in this hydro electricity power plants now coming to that working of this hydro electricity power plant the rain water the rain water flowing as a river can be stored at eye levels can be stored at eye levels by building the dams across the rivers and building the dams across the rivers and released in a controlled manner and released in a controlled manner to generate the mechanical power 
using water turbines to generate mechanical power using water turbine now if you want to just observe this small animation so the water which is okay the stored in a dam and released in a controlled manner to generate mechanical power using water turbine mechanical power using water turbine the mechanical energy is further converted into an electrical energy electricity or electrical energy by using generators coupled to the turbines so you can see here so there is a francis turbine which is directly coupled which is directly coupled to this generator so from this we can generate the electricity see the potential energy of the water once it is stored in the dam water at rest it is a potential energy once if you release the water so through the pen stop it will reach to this the turbine water turbine so the kinetic the potential energy of the water is converted into kinetic energy then that kinetic energy of the water which makes to rotate the turbine so due to that the kinetic energy of the water is converted into mechanical energy that mechanical energy is directly converted into electrical energy in terms of this generator in terms of this generator okay the river is stored in the reservoirs at high levels the head or height such water is having high potential energy such water is having high potential energy is allowed to flow is allowed to flow through a pen stuck pipes okay this is a pen stuck this is allowed to flow through a pen stuck pipe to convert it into kinetic energy so this is a high potential energy of the water is allowed to flow through a pen stuck pipe it is converted into a kinetic energy so then the kinetic energy of the water is used to run or drive the water turbine is used to run or drive the water turbine and is hence converted so apart from that uh, this is how we can generate the electricity here uh, the kinetic energy of the water is used to run or drive and hence converted into mechanical energy so by coupling the turbines to generators by coupling the turbines to the generator